All right, so most Americans think climate change needs to be addressed and soon. And that's according to the latest polling conducted by CBS, where over half of respondents say it should be addressed immediately. The majority of respondents also say there's a responsibility to take care of the environment for future generations. And as temperatures rise worldwide, nothing seems to be safe from the effects of climate change, including baseball. A new study found that global warming is driving an increase in home runs. Scientists say that it's because of lower air density on game days, which allows the ball to travel with less resistance after being hit. Huh. Christopher Callahan is with us now to help break this down. He's one of the authors of the study and a PhD candidate in climate science at Dartmouth College. Thanks for joining us. This is like, you know, we do a lot of stuff on climate change and, and usually we're talking about wildfires or droughts. This is sort of what, to me, this is an example of the tiny little things that are happening that we're unaware of, all right? So what did you find in the study and did anything surprise you? Yeah, we found that when the air is warmer, it's less dense, which means that balls will fly farther, meaning that we can link climate change specifically to more than 500 additional home runs in Major League Baseball over the last 10 years or so. That was not surprising uh, in and of itself. We know this physical process of air temperature and density has been described before, so that wasn't a surprise. But seeing how many more home runs we might have in the future if temperatures continue to rise was a pretty big surprise to me. Okay, like I don't want to be that person because I know climate change is very concerning, but more home runs don't seem like a bad thing, is it? It's not necessarily a bad thing if you like home runs. Uh, you know, the, the findings of the study are not, not themselves necessarily a huge cause for concern. But as you said, I think they are a signal of the ways that climate change is sort of pervasively affecting many aspects of our lives that we don't necessarily expect. Yeah. Um, uh, let me just sort of, I know you guys have done the research and everything, but when I first sort of read the short version of this, I thought, Oh, yeah, of course, there's more home runs. The athletes are a different caliber of athletes. So I'm sure you sort of factor that in um, that maybe the athletes are just better. Absolutely. There's a lot of reasons that home runs have risen in Major League Baseball. Climate change is certainly not the only factor. Athletes are better. The analytics are better. So players are sort of optimizing their swings for home runs. The ball has changed in its physical construction, like the height of the seams. And so there are many of these factors. And we show that climate change is only one small part of the puzzle at the moment. Mm -hmm. But it could become more severe in the future if temperatures continue to rise. So then the next thing I thought was, to, to what your point, that this is an example of, you know, a little thing that's happening that we're probably mostly unaware of. And I thought, you know, I'm not a professional athlete, but I like to get out there and run. And, and is there an impact on our day to day lives that maybe we don't know about? I think so. I think the most severe way that's going to manifest is just the increasing extreme heat. So baseball games have generally not been canceled for heat the way that they're canceled for rain right now. But I could imagine going 10 or 20 years into the future and there being real heat risks to players, fans and staff, which also manifests in ways that we might not be able to run or play wiffle ball outside if we're in a really hot region in the hottest parts of the year. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sort of curious why you and your fellow researchers um, sort of zoned in on this. Are you a baseball fan? Primarily, it's, I'm a baseball fan. I'm a Chicago Cubs fan. I grew up in Chicago. And so that was a real personal motivation for me. But right. I also think it was, you know, knowing this physical process of temperature and air density, knowing that it should show up in the data, but had not been shown on a large scale way before. And so we had that opportunity to really dig into the data and show that process manifesting. Well, Christopher, I think this sort of stuff is really important because I think for, for many people, if you're not being immediately impacted by climate change, um, you, you know, it could be a bit of a shrug. Um, and so it's just kind of, once again, a reminder that you don't know the ways in which climate change is impacting you. Um, so thanks so much for joining us this morning, Christopher Callahan. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me.